This is Corey Modell on December 31st, 1969 on CMM News. Today, the Flint Weatherman's Flint War Council with our analyst, Raynor. Yes, Corey, the Weathermen have decided to break away from SCS and engage in guerrilla activity. Liberations include all the violence, obtaining weapons, and hiding from law enforcement. Some of the more disturbing topics include whether they will target, target white babies. What members present at the event but not involved in the Weathermen activities have reportedly been shocked at the savagery of some topics. Sounds like a truly terrifying event. Thank you for reporting. Hello, this is Corey Modell reporting for CMM News on October 6th, 1970. Today, the group Weather Underground, despite turning away from violence after their accidental detonation of their makeshift bomb factory in Greenwich Village, in which three members have been killed, have issued a manifesto for their fall offensive. Raynor Bond Ashpole, our expert, will give you more. Well, Corey, the white men have now gone back to their final tendencies, this time in response to the killings of Fred Hampton and Mark Clark, two Black Panther members. And what connection does the group have with the Black Panthers? Where men have tried to be our allies since their formation. Of course, even the gun killing black Panthers find the women to be brash and violent. The women have detailed the lengths that they will go to achieve their mission in their manifesto. Here it is. This time it begins a fall offensive of youth resistance that will spread from Santa Barbara to Boston back to Kenton, Kansas. Now we are everywhere, and next week families and tribes will attack the enemy around the country. We are not just attacking targets. We are bringing a pitiful, helpless giant to its knees. Hello, this is COM News on the 20th of May, 1972. I'm Corey Modell. Bombs went off in the Pentagon today, and it seems the weather ground underground is to blame. In retaliation for the bombing of Hanoi, the group placed a bomb in the women's bathroom of the Air Force Wing, akin to the bombing of the Capitol two years ago. They damaged property and classified information. Welcome to CMI News. This is Rainer Bond Ashpole on the date of January 18, 1977. There have been reports of a rift in the Water Underground organization, with founder Bernie Thorne at odds with the rest of the group, who she is now labeling as white supremacists who have abandoned the armed struggle, turned away from blacks, and lessened their ideology. Let's turn to our analysts for more. Thank you, Reno. Seems Weather Underground movement has lost the steam it previously held, now that the war has ended. We could very well be witnessing one step in the eventual dissolution of the organization. After claiming to be the perpetrators of 25 bombings, the organization's factional differences, which is what created the split between the Weathermen and SDS, have begun to lessen the organization's political importance. I believe the group will fade out of importance in a few years, after which it will be remembered solely as a far-left terrorist organization. This rift comes after a 1973 decision from the government to reclassify the group as a non-fusion organization due to the legal practices of the FBI in procuring information on white underground, including the search of various homes without warrant. There seems to be a clear rift between the East Coast members who favor a commitment to violence and who challenge the commitments of older leaders such as Bernadine Dorn, Bill Ayers, and Jeff Jones, and the other Old West Coast members who found that they were no longer liable for federal prosecution and could become above-ground revolutionary leaders. Thank you for your insight, Corey. I'm sure you are as glad as I am to see the end of this dangerous and radical group.